Oh, how's it going, guys? As you guys can tell, I just made the dub video a little while ago. Now, with the squirrel that we got as we were walking back to the truck, great shot, running about like 25 yards, popped him right before, uh, I think so she, yeah, right before she disappeared into some foliage. Had a nut in her mouth too. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, so there's two methods that I've found when it comes to cleaning squirrels. Um, usually you'll see the tail method is where you cut the bottom of the bone, put your foot on the back thing and just yoink up. I've never had much luck with that, so we're gonna do it my way. Usually I'll start off with cutting off the tail. And if you guys didn't know, if you guys keep these MEPs, you know, the Fishing Lure Company MEPs, get about a hundred of them, send them up there. You can either redeem them for uh, cash or fishing lures. Anyway, once you wanna get that tail off, you wanna take the paws off. Because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be dragging the rest of the pelt over uh, over the nubs. Usually I keep some garden shears to do this, but unfortunately I did not bring any today. Um, so yeah, once you got the feet taken care of and everything else, you're going to want to go after the head. I'm going to do this over here. A little bit gruesome. Anyway, so you're going to end up with that, right? What I do is you're going to take a little piece off the back, a little piece off the back. See, and this squirrel's super fresh, so she's really easy to. Uh, maneuver and cut through. The longer you usually wait to clean something, the tougher it gets to clean. So take your fingers and make that after you make that incision. We want to dig in there deep. All right. All right, you're gonna get that little flap open. It's okay if you don't get it all the way on the first try. Nobody's going to. Put your fingers in there. You can wear gloves too. Um, Usually I prefer to wear gloves, I just don't have any at the moment, but I'm just gonna wanna pull, pull. So you're gonna get the exposed skin right here, right? Make sure you look through your squirrel too, cause I don't know if you can tell right there. That's some number six shot right there. You want to make sure you double check the meat to make sure that's not in there because you know you don't want to trip to the dentist for uh you know nibbling on part of a squirrel oh there's more some more nibbling on um, a squirrel that uh you shot but yeah so you're gonna come down here keep pulling keep pulling 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 You wank that out. Yeah, I, this was not the best shot. Um, it's more on the back than anything. But yeah, once you get this little separation right here, you wanna cut through it. So you've got two distinct pieces. Just like a sock, it should come off. All right now this shot a squirrel was right in the stomach yeah you accidentally pulled off some of the stomach so you're gonna experience a little bit of bleeding and all that stuff it's no big deal see what i like to do i'll take a uh, grocery bag cut off a good bit you don't got any gloves so you can get that wrapped around there and get the rest of that squirrel cleaned up. Don't be afraid that you're gonna rip on them in half because you're not going to. But that should be about your end result. Until there's some shot in that right there. We're gonna take care of it right now. But what I like to do, I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer. So you can take that belly flap, right? Yeah, you got that right there. 
See the belly flap? I'm gonna cut off the rest of it real quick so I can get a little bit better access. This is the best way to actually like clean a squirrel for a beginner, in my opinion at least. But you're gonna cut up right through the diaphragm right there. All right? You're just gonna. You just want to get up through there. Split that out. So you're going to expose all those internal organs up in the upper thoracic cavity. Take your bag. Reach up there. You always want to pull from the top down. When you've got the heart. You're just going to pull. All right. The rest of the organs and stuff are going to come with naturally but yeah get them all splayed out like that and bam you got a clean squirrel